Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer, and today is Sunday. Today is the 19th of June 2022, which means today it's my tarot spread. Okay, I hope I didn't scare too many people last week with what I said, but we've got to look at what happened. A few people have emailed me and said, Linda, how did you know? that the world was about to go to crappers for a lot of people. Because two days after my last tarot spread, where I was saying we're now in it, the whole stock exchange crashed. Billions of people lost billions of dollars. Okay? I love it when I get my prophecies right. Okay? I love it. Um, I don't do this for the ego, obviously. I do this for the education and getting the word out there of what we can do and what we can plan for the next week, okay? That's why I like doing these globally and I like doing it for a whole week, okay? So the first card that I got today is my little lovey-dovey card. Here he is. And it says, love and joy is doing things together, Okay. Remember, I've been telling it for weeks now. Go out and find your tribe, the ones who you vibe with. Your vibe is your tribe, okay? Got to remember that. So go out there and find people that are on the same wavelength as you, people in the same thought processes, okay? Um, I know in my family they don't really, um, how would I say it politically correct, they don't agree with what I do, okay? So my family, even though in their blood, I know that I don't rely on them for my own vibe, my my emotional connection with other people, okay? So this is where the cards are saying this week, love enjoys doing things together. So this is our time now to stick with our people. Find your people. That's what the cards are saying this week, okay? So that was my little lovey-dovey card. Find your people. Because now we go over to the beautiful card from Louise Benton. So here's her website if you want to go. And there's her website, okay? She designs all the artwork. And here's the artwork today. And as well as this, she also designs all the words. And she writes all the words on the back. So, it's the alignment card. Ha, 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 ha. So, I'll put it there if you want to pause it. Okay, let's read the alignment card. It reads, align yourself with soul's intention. Manifest dreams in heart's direction. Beyond the programming and manipulations. The desires and the expectations. The illusions of the world will test at every turn on this great quest. Do you know how many people have actually said to me over the last few months, oh my God, why did I sign up for this? Why did I sign up to be in this exact moment right now in history? Because we have to be here, guys. What a learning experience we're all going through, okay? Okay. So just in this first paragraph, because I've only read the first paragraph here, let's just have a look. Align yourself with your soul's intention. Don't look at the material world that we live in right now. Think about our soul on this level of eternal being, consciousness. Align yourself back to that. Become that person, not persona again. Manifest dreams in your heart's direction. You don't just go out and say, oh, okay, I want to have a million dollar yacht. Let's go make it because a yacht means butt kiss at the end of the day. Okay, this is talking about manifesting dreams of our heart. What is the dreams of our heart? What are our emotions? Okay, this is kindness. This is consideration. This is courtesy because the world needs it right now. How many people out there right now are angry? The more we show anger back or spite or the questioning why are they doing that, the more we're creating that same energy. So instead of accusing them and saying, oh my God, why are you doing that? Show them compassion. 
Show them love and understanding. You know, I've got neighbours, they live in Roy's house. They swear and scream at each other all day. So the other night I was thinking, damn, what would I actually say to them if I did talk to them? First of all, I would say, how about I teach you how to talk nicely to each other? Because it dawned on me. They don't know how to talk nicely to each other. They don't know anything other than the vibration that they're in. So they don't understand the how sarcastic, how abusive, how attacking mode they are. They think it's normal. So there's my compassion. I show them, even if I don't talk to them, I can still say, you know what, God, please, let's just give them an opportunity where they see kindness. So I sit out there on the phone so they can hear me because, you know, Roy's backyard's only feet from mine where I sit. And I sit there talking to my friends and I say, oh, today I'm going to be this person. Today I'm going to show kindness because if they're listening, hopefully they're picking that up and they want to strive to be like that as well. So we don't have to always just attack back. Don't do that. Give back kindness. That's what the cards are saying in this alignment card. Okay. The illusions of this world will test. Well, to me, this whole world is an illusion. Look at, you know, it's the ego of a certain few, the elitists, if you want to call them that. The few that are in a, the, the, the whole control group of the whole world, they want us to all act in negativity so they can control us. This, as soon as we say, you don't have control over me, they lose their power, which is their energy. They're not liking it. They don't like now how many people are actually standing up. Okay, okay, so pep, 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 let's start again. Second paragraph release the need to always control. <laughs> this is exactly what I'm talking about. And allow the mystery of life to unfold. Resistance is a sign of pause and reflection. Simply simplify and allow space for contemplation. So, this is where we pause and we say to ourselves, you know what? I don't have to go along with this mandate. I don't have to comply with their rules and their obligations. I don't have to bow down and let them win. Okay? As long as we believe in what we think is correct and we go out and research it so we know that it's valid and it's <laughs> science. <laughs> Let's go there. Okay? So we find out now that all the lies of the past two years, you know, I was just watching this video, um, a nurse, she said how they were all being had, they've all been had, they were told safe and effective, but there's no data that proves it at all, she worked in an ER, and every shift for the past year, she said it's inundated, we're not allowed to ask them if they've had a certain medical procedure, because it's forbidden, to know who's had it, even knowing it's all logged, right? There's no privacy. So she's just done this video where she's waking people up, especially to her own effects that she's had, as well as seeing the miscarriages, the deaths in the ER that she's seen over the past year before health sacked her because she stood up and wanted to know why. It's sad, isn't it? But it's taking these nurses, you know, they've been had, they were told safe, they were told effective, and there's no data that shows it anywhere on the planet. Wow. So release the need to always control. We don't have to um, allow other people to affect us. And that's the videos I've just done, part one and part two. I'm going to do a part three today and it's cool what I'm going to do. There's a reason why that one's delayed. So if you go and have a look at part one and part two, part two is about Mary the cat. How cool is that? I love it showing Mary my cat. Okay, so here we go. Rekindle your magical, playful spirit. So this is where we find our true self again, right? 
Transcend the mundane reality that has been set. Awaken and see through the veils of deception. <laughs> Everyone's now waking up, okay? This thing. Now, we've got, we've got to remember, guys, in 2001 when I died, I was told by my great-great-great-great-grandmother, she said, do not have the cure, for the cure is the sickness. I knew about this over 20 years ago. How do you think I feel when I try and tell people? And they go, what an idiot you are, Linda. But now it's all coming out. Awaken and see through the veils of deception that have kept us from knowing our divine emanation. Envision, and, oh, sorry, start again. Envision of a life of your own making. Break through this matrix of subordination. At any time you are free to choose and make your life your own creation. So this week is all about standing up and saying, I'm not going to be had anymore. You can bring out your new strains. You can bring out your monkeypox with a silent K because it is all about the money, remember, here, guys. You can keep it and jam it up where the sun don't shine because at the end of the day, people are now wanting answers and they're doubling down. You don't want answers. You've got to stay home because a new strain's coming out. So in other words, don't think. Um, they're already saying that we're going back into stage five lockdowns in the next three months here in Australia because they can't have us going out because we're talking about this stuff now. Okay, but let's go back to card one. What did it say? Love enjoys doing things together. Find your tribes, guys, because the more we start talking about how do you feel over the past two years, do you think we've been had? The more that next person's going to go, yeah, I think I've been had. And then you both talk about it and you start sharing your videos and you start talking about the truth of what has happened. Okay. And that's how we come into our alignment. All righty. So my next card, oh, you want me to do the ruin stone next, don't you? Thank you so much. So I've got my bag of ruins. So let's just reach in and I'll get my ruin for the test this week. Okay, because I've still got my tarot card here. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh, okay. Let's just go there. One, one stone, please, for the whole world for the next week. And it's you, little one. Okay, I've got a little one. Okay, let's have a look at what he is. This, oh, really weird one. Is it that way? Or is it that way? Or is it that way? Or is it that way? Let's go find him. Okay, I'll just put him down so I can find him in my stones. Okay, it doesn't look any like those. Where are you? It's that one. Okay. Okay, so he actually goes that way. And he's that one. There he is. So it's this one. Okay. It's called the Dice Cup. Okay, so let me put the stone down so I can read this. And it's called Perthro. Perthro is the dice or the gambling cup. Oh, the ruin cup used for gambling by Nordic fighters to test their good fortune. The symbol of luck, mysteries, secrets, things that may be hidden. Ooh. So let's read it. We've got three dot points. Are you ready? It's the dice cup. You know what I mean, don't you? It's a little cup where you put your dice in and you shake, shake, shake. Yahtzee uses like a dice cup. Yeah. Okay. A signal that something that was previously hidden, example, a secret, an object, or some good fortune, is about to come to light. Generally, a positive ruin. And the last one says a new opportunity, a retrieval of something lost, an unexpected win. So let's have a look at this, okay? How do we win? It's not always money, right? We win 
by finding our friends, our tribe, and sharing. We win by coming into alignment, finding out that our energy, it can, is beautiful, and it's loving, rewarding, it's special, kind, and beautiful, beautiful, okay? We find out that the secrets are now coming out. The lies and the deceit of the past two years, they can't hide it anymore. Too many people are now waking up. And unfortunately, a lot of people like myself are sitting here going, we've been trying to tell you this for the past year and a half. This is where we learn patience. This is where we learn courtesy, kindness. This is where we learn compassion and understanding, guys. This is where we can say to all these people, you were had, but it doesn't mean you're a lesser person. You were trusting the wrong people. And thankfully, now you have an opportunity to wake up. That is what the cards are saying this week. 10,000 cows dying in Texas from heat stroke when it's only like 26 Celsius? Come on, people are waking up. Then, what happened four days ago? Australia got told, oh, there's going to be electricity outages because we can't keep up. What's happening right now today? Oh, look at the big power factory down south where they produce all our power is on fire. Oh, what luck. Even even I could not have seen that coming as a psychic. Come on, guys. Wake up to what they're doing. They're doing this all deliberately. Wake up and smell it, okay? Now we've got the one card that she said, keep until the end. Oh, okay, let's see what it is. I've already got the card here in my book because it is the Seven of Pentacles. Go research this one, guys, because this is a doozy of a card. The Seven of Pentacles. Here we go. It's this one here. Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles shows that hard work and patience will be rewarded and that working methodically towards accomplishment will bring success. So the last few weeks I've been talking about doom and gloom is coming, right? But if we analyze, we take stock of what we've got, good things are coming to us. And this is the week when it starts, okay? Okay, you should receive good news concerning your financial position at this time. And all forms of financial applications or sales negotiations are well aspected. So this is finances this week. This is if we've been good and we're kind and we're putting out all this yummy, yummy vibration to everybody else on the planet, the brownie points are coming back to us this week. Yay! Although this is a good card, it is important to still plan for the future. Once the harvest has been collected, it must be replenished for the next time. So if you do come into money over this next week, guys, don't go and blow it on new hats or shoes. Stockpile food because it's coming next year in 2024. Our doozies. Put away. You know, I always say if you're going to go to the shops and you spend $20, you spend $25 and you get that extra can of food. Perishables that are in cans, jars, unsealed, you know, sealed foods start stockpiling it okay i've got here in my house about 200 toilet rolls i've also got about 30 packets of tissues boxes of them like these okay i've got about 30 of these in my house right now and i'm gonna be buying more because i was getting told a few months ago that three months is not long enough so if you need say a tin of soup per day to survive that's seven for a week so it makes 28 for a month right now multiply that by 24 because this is going to be like two years where it's just not coming back they're not 
going to put food back on the shelf. They're not bringing down the power of um, the cost of petrol. They're not going to bring down electricity and coal charges anytime soon. You know why? Because they have to keep this going. Okay? They can't just say, oh, what luck now we've got all these frozen veggies back in the shelves. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, it ain't coming, guys. So start planning. Find your tribe, because this week good things are coming to those who have been deserving. Oh, I can't wait to hear the feedback from this one, because this week there's a few things happening for some good people on the planet, and I can't wait to hear about it, guys. So I hope you all have a great week. I've done all my card. So yep, yeah, I've done all four. I think the biggest one for today is the alignment card. Come into your alignment. Go center. Read my, watch my part one, part two videos that I've just done. How to, what have I called it? How to disconnect from external energies. Then we need that right now. So I'm going to close this one off so I can go and do part three. Because part three is the doozy beautiful work. Love yous all and I'll talk to yous all soon. Okay, bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.